Self-leveling underlayments are a simple solution to flattening uneven or out-of-level floors. It's an especially good technique when you're planning on tiling, like we're doing on this bat floor. Self-levelers work over both concrete and wood floors, although reinforcing lath has to be used with any wood floor like this one. Buy enough expanded metal lath to cover the whole floor and a self-level primer to seal the floor and help bind the leveler to the subfloor. No specialty tools are needed except for a half-inch drill, along with a cage-style mixing paddle for mixing up the leveler, and at least two six-gallon buckets. If you're covering more than 50 square feet, have a helper on hand for the actual pouring. Figuring the amount of leveler needed can be a bit tricky. Determine the average thickness needed to level out the floor and figure for a minimum thickness of one quarter of an inch. Use the coverage information on the bag to determine how many you need, but be sure to buy a couple of extra bags so you don't run short. Scrape up any loose material from your old flooring. Rescrew the subfloor to the joists if there's any loose or squeaky spots. This bath had a pine board subfloor, so we added a layer of half-inch plywood to even it out. Self-levelers are as runny as water, so any holes need to be plugged or the leveler will drain right through the flooring. Caulk the plywood seams and any nail holes you find. Seal areas around tubs and wall plates with inexpensive caulk. Doorways, air registers, and toilet flanges need to be dammed up. Tape and caulk work well for a toilet flange. Use blocks and strips of wood for registers and doors. Tape off any surfaces you don't want damaged by the leveler. Pour some primer on the floor, work it in evenly with a roller, and let it dry before moving on to the lath. Cut the sheets to fit and staple them down every four inches in all directions with 5 16 staples. Lath strengthens the leveler, much like rebar in concrete. Add the exact amount of water called for to the mixing pail, then add powder and mix thoroughly for about two minutes. While you're pouring the first bucket, have your helper get to work on getting the next one ready. Once you start pouring, you can't stop. So have plenty of water on hand. Pour each bucket into an area it will just fill, and don't try to spread it out. Avoid splattering by slowly tipping the bucket to start. Keep mixing and pouring until you're out the door. This floor will be ready to tile tomorrow. Applying leveler might seem intimidating, but it's really very easy if you prep the job correctly, have a helper on board for bigger jobs, and have plenty of extra bags of leveler on hand, just in case you come up short.